Fallout 4 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Plays Fallout 4. On the last episode, we explored Salem. Took a while, but we finally got up here to see a part of the map, a, a pretty significant part of the map, that we haven't seen yet. It was well over 100 episodes ago that we explored the Museum of Witchcraft, and uh, we never went any further than that. So I want to want to show you real quick on the map here where we are, and um, all of the different little things that we have seen. We've went into all of this. We haven't went into the Crater House. We'll probably have to go check that out um, also. But Salem is just... I think just represents this entire area, the Rook family house. We're going to uh, start today's episode by looking around a little bit. Maybe swim out to these islands. I don't know if that's worth our time or not, but I'm game for doing it. So I figured, eh, since I'm, I'm currently feeling in the mood to do something extreme like that, that maybe I should act on that impulse before I'm like, no, let's never do this ever. Because I see it out there, and I'm like, that's a thing. I don't know what's out there. I don't know what that could be. The boundaries of the map might stop you before you get out there, but it doesn't look like it. Like, it looks like it's within the boundaries of the map. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to wander down here. There could be Meyer Lurks. <laughs> there are Meyer Lurks. And some of this. Stop. Yeah, it was worth a shot. <laughs> After I'd already shot him a million times. Where are you going? Don't run away from me. The other thing I'm gonna have to do is get over to, um... I'm gonna have to get over to Sanctuary and drop some stuff off, because I, I already left some of my legendary items with Barney, because, like, I, I can't even carry all this stuff anymore. So, that's the right direction, right? No! Wait, what the crap am I looking at, then? Hold on. I'm looking at something that don't exist. I thought I was looking at this. Oh, so I need to turn to the right. Because I can't... Wherever this is, I can't go. I can go to that little island. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll walk up the coast and uh, check it out. And I'll look in some of these buildings. See if there's anything around. Um, because I'm not coming back. I'm not coming back. I mean, let's let's be very honest with ourselves. You know, the, the odds of me coming back here are basically zero. So, um, I want to make sure that I see whatever I'm going to see. Because I, I will not be back to Salem. Now, I read the, the comments from the last two episodes, and uh, I apologize that I had to pre-record one. Um, anyone that was watching on Twitter may have noticed some stuff popping up. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. We did a... <laughs> we did a sponsored video? Which sounds very odd for me, because I, I don't really do that sort of thing, but... Uh, it's... It, I, I think you'll... Um, I think once you guys see exactly what it was, you'll understand why I did it. Uh, there, there will be a video coming out within the next, like, two weeks. Um, I'm not the one cutting it. Uh, I'm not gonna be the one editing it, but, uh, it will be released, uh, onto Steven Plays. And, uh, it's a little, um... How do I put this without spoiling everything? Dan got a computer. <laughs> I'll say that. Dan got a computer, courtesy of, uh, of some, uh, some companies. AMD and Friends. Hashtag ad. Hashtag sponsored. Uh, there will be more information coming out about that and the awesome goodwill of these companies for for doing this. And also how that all came about. But, um, yeah, it's really cool. Uh, this this is one of the, the remaining series that Dan doesn't edit. Uh, Fallout is and will continue to be edited by me, but uh, Dan does a lot of work on Steven Plays, so having uh, having a new computer available to him is, is super, super awesome, and I can't wait for all the details of that uh, to come out. So that's not going to be a vlog thing. I mean, it'll be on the vlog too, but you don't have to wait months for that to come out. That's a, that's an actual video that will be released. There are so many of these things chilling over here. Holy crap. Like, I, I knew that Salem had a Mirelurk problem, but they're just everywhere, man. It's nuts. You coming over here? Stop right there. He exploded. Goodness gracious. Um, now, as, as I was saying, I did read your comments from the last episode. One of the more interesting things from your comments is that uh, one of the, the keys that I picked up opens the trailers at that Wicked Shipping Company. But apparently the key opens Wicked Shipping, wicked shipping Containers throughout the entire Fallout world. So I've been completely avoiding, like, 
I guess they kind of look like buses or something. And uh, I've been avoiding them. But apparently, once you have this key, you can open these things. So, we're gonna go back to Wicked Shipping briefly today so I can open that up and get a, get a sense for what it is... ...that they are, what, I, what it is I can open. But in the future, if we see those things, you cannot go that way. There is an invisible wall. Well then, um... Guess I can't do that. Uh, but in the future, if we see these uh, shipping containers... We'll be able to open them. Now, would that have helped to have had earlier in the game? I mean, sure. But we didn't, and it's, it, I'm sure it doesn't have any particularly useful loot. It's just one of those things that if you have, it's, it's cool because you have that... Uh, ability to open it. Is this a... Plane? What is this? What am I looking at? This is like a... some sort of like stealth military plane thing. And it looks like this person crashed and then was trying to... Trying to survive. Strangely, you can't use that to sleep, though. It's like it cover it's covered in some debris. So it's impossible to use. Although there's a bedroll here... No, you can't sleep here, either. It's a little odd. Just gonna con continue to explore this area over here, and then get back over to, uh... Get back over to Salem. Oh my god. Eh! Kind of surprised I was able to jump all the way up here. I'm taking these potato crisps, because cli <laughs> climbing up here is not the easiest thing in the world. I think I deserve those potato crisps. Oh god. Uh, come on. There we go. Alright, let's swim over here. Still got my light on. I can probably turn that off. And let's see. Again, there are going to be... Get out of here. There's there's going to be Meyer Lurks. Um, it's just a fact of life over here. But since we're not coming back, might as well get all of our exploration in. I'm a Braxo. Again, we're already teetering on uh, being over-encumbered, so I want to be a little careful here. We can try and get this thing open. That would be great. Possibly. Uh, as we, um... As, as we move forward... I know that we're getting into the end game, although we have not yet been to Nuka World, and there's gonna be... From what I understand, from, from what I've, I've, I've read... Of, ...of what you guys have said, it seems like Nuka World's fairly substantial. Um... Kind of like a bigger... At least somewhat bigger... I can't open this door. Uh, a somewhat bigger... Far Harbor. And that's awesome. That's that's really cool. But it also means that that's going to add quite a bit of time. And uh, one of the things I'd really like to do is uh, switch up some of my weapons. Even if they're not as powerful. Um, there were some times in, like, Far Harbor that I switched up my weapons just for fun. You know, just just because I could. Um, I've already been in here. Um, yeah, I, and I, I'd like to do that again. Use some of the Nuka World weapons. One of the things you may have seen me building towards uh, on the perks recently is putting points into uh, Gunslinger. I need to put one more point in and I'll have that maxed out because I'd like to uh, focus on some pistols, particularly the Western Revolver. So that's going to be something that's going to get some use. Um, I'll, I'll also probably be bringing back some uh, some past weapons that we haven't seen used in a while and then I'll certainly be looking at uh, maybe doing some uh, some new weapons or new weapon variants. Uh, again, even if they're not as strong as some of the stuff we've used in the past, that's okay. It's just, it's just for some change. You know, we're past the, um... We're past the main story now. And, uh, as we move into the, these final bits of the Let's Play, I think it would be fun to, uh, to change some things up here and there. I've already seen all this, too. Maybe I've seen everything there is to see in Salem. I mean, there wasn't a whole lot to it, but again, I just want to make sure that I've seen it all before I leave, because... I'm not going to be back this way again. I was up here. Because this is all up and running. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I'm good. I went into the church. I might walk over onto that side of town a little bit, but it... From what I can tell, the, uh, the Rook family mission exists solely to make you explore the little nooks and crannies of Salem. Because that's why they put the... Uh... 
the turrets everywhere, so they kind of put them strategically throughout this this area, so you have to explore this map. Anything back here? Nope. I guess not. Get out of my way, shopping cart. Hmm. Nope. This all looks pretty normal. I, um... I... Oh, no, there's enemies in here. That's right, there was something up here and I hadn't seen it all. Okay, so this is like one of the last things... ...that's probably worth exploring. Oh, man, there's... It's interesting to see all this stuff laid out like this. You just kind of take your pick for whatever it is you, uh... ...want to dress as. There's some sort of Mirelurk... ...something... ...that we'll have to shoot. There's even more stock upstairs. If you want to- if you want to dress fancy, man... ...this is where you go. Oh, I've been here! Crap, I have been here, I just... ...I don't think I ever figured out how to get... I don't think I figured out how to get any higher. Oh, crap. Okay, well that's good, though, because if I can hear an enemy, that means that there's a place that I haven't... ...been. Let's just walk around back. Is it just, like, sitting here? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Gotcha! Oh, hold on, gotta reload. Don't run from me. You're only making it harder on yourself. That's where you are. Oh, well that's less exciting. <laughs> I was like, oh, there's a part of the building I haven't seen. No, I've seen... I've seen it. Okay, well... I... I guess that's Salem. Pretty sure that's it. This person came out for a smoke break and got hit by an atom bomb. <laughs> this has been a PSA from... Surgeon General Warning. <laughs> Don't smoke, kids. It's like getting hit by an atom bomb. In some cases... ...that could actually happen. Uh, so one of the things I'd mentioned a few minutes ago... ...was, uh, wanting to take a look at Crater House. I believe that's run by Children of Adam. And I was around this way once before... ...but when I was here, I wasn't a member of the Children of Adam. At least I'm pretty sure. Oh, God! I was kind of hoping that since I was friends with them... Oh, my... God. I was kind of hoping that since I was friends with them, they would... ...be willing to, like, chat. Um, I can see that that's not gonna happen, so I guess I'm gonna have to commit genocide. Uh, let's do Rataway and Stimpak. Go ahead and get that back to normal, and then, uh, I'm gonna give myself a quick save, because, uh, this could get ugly. It looks like they may have... ...uh, mini-nukes. And that's... that's no fun for anyone. I'll do Nuclear Nancy, because I can mop this up real quick. I'm still in danger. God. Children of Adam reborn. Children of Adam, lose your head! Sayonara, sucker. I kill him? Thanks for... for taking care of that. Those weapons are insane. Like, if you don't have rad resistance... ...the amount of radiation damage that they do is nuts. It's actually nuts. And, and if you had multiple people shooting at you at once... ...um, there's a good chance that you could just die. So, uh, I've never... Look at that. Look at that nonsense. Cool gun, though. Behold the power of my butt. I'm gonna shoot you, but I need... Hold, oh, God. Should probably focus... ...first on the thing. I got my AP back. These are level 50 dudes. They mean business, man! The explosive damage certainly helps. Let's, uh, let's be careful. There's not many of them. So that's... That's the advantage here. Okay, just taking them out one by one. Good God. Where you at? There you are! <laughs> Look at the little circles coming for me! No, I'm gonna shoot you instead! Keep it going, Grit! Got him. Okay, just a few, uh, maybe just turrets? No, there's some co- Ow! Oh, God. These guys are level 10s. But they still, like, the radiation that they do is insane, so I gotta continue to blow them up. Look at that! Do you see that? Radaway right Stimpak. My God. Hands up. You know, I'm technically on your side, so it's- it's kind of wild. These are, uh, these are Gamma Guns. 
by the way. This is a Gamma Gun. We, uh, we actually have a Gamma Gun. It's just a modified Gamma Gun that doesn't shoot radiation. It just causes enemies to stumble. That's what we refer to as unrelenting force. Dang. It's kind of wild. Um, and the other one's up here. Woo! Okay. So, the only- we've only ever gotten close enough- Nuka Grenade, that's probably what they threw. Um, we've only ever gotten close enough... ...here to, like... ...to see that it existed, and then I was... ...very done... ...with this place. Um, but now... Where'd the other guy go? There's another guy. There you are. But now everyone's dead! It's a lot more palatable when everyone's dead. <laughs> Said this. Said the psychopath. Uh, I'm gonna take some radiation just by being in here. I don't think anyone else is in here. Uh, I have no idea what this place is exactly. I know it's uh, a little commune for the children of Adam. I should probably switch to a different weapon in case I do stumble across them or they will end me quick. Guess we're just gonna go in here and take their stuff. Um, makes the most sense to me. I'm actually, I'm a little. I'm a little upset that you can't interact with these guys as a, a member of the Children of Adam. Yes. But, I mean, it's okay. There there was a few other th I'll take the cry There was a few other parts in the game where they did retroactively do some stuff for the becoming a member of the Children of Adam, which was cool. Thought that was a mine or something. I don't believe it is. Um, one of the things that comes to mind is in the main quest when you have to visit it's like that military outpost in the glowing sea and there's that guy there I'm good I'm taking a lot of rads all right let's uh let's unlock this terminal before I die trade okay um hmm tower could be tower no it couldn't it's got a T I'm an idiot ignore all the T's razor uh, likeness was, mm, claim. No, it can't be claim. Paths. There we go. Uh, the beacon. We have sent our faithful to the tower on the cliff. They will create a beacon to call forth Adam's children to rejoin us in the glow. Even the heretic shall be made to participate in the great division. Let us bask in the divine glow of Adam. The tower on the cliff. Okay. Turret control. They're dead. But deactivate, I guess. Uh, and... Spotlight control. You guys have spotlights? Apparently. Um, hmm. Yeah, you're gone. I wouldn't have even shot it. So... When they say... Tower on the cliff... Let me, let me get through this so I can try and... They have rad away. Why are you trying to keep your rads away? Don't you like... I thought you liked this sort of thing. More rat meat, rad roach meat, gross. Tower on the hill. They must mean the lighthouse. That's the only thing that makes sense. When they say tower on the hill, that's... There's no other towers on the hill. That I could... Assume. Um... Probably shouldn't step in this. It looks like this was a, uh... God, I'm taking a lot of rats. It looks like this was a... Like a, cr a crashed plane or something? Maybe? Hard to tell exactly. Okay, um... It might be... There might be some stuff out there, but I also kinda doubt it. I don't really suspect... We'd find anything out that way. I've already used quite a bit of right away. Let me see here. Let me just get a little bit closer. There's a whale. Yeah, this looks like a plane. A plane crashed here and caused some issues. And, uh, people set up camp. Don't believe there's anything out that way. Probably not worth exploring. But the tower on the hill... I guess that was where they wanted to set up. But we've been here. This is not new to us. Kingsport Lighthouse. Wait, have we been here? I don't remember all these enemies. Oh, God! So they're set up here too. Son of a gun! Wow, I wasn't uh, wasn't expecting that. I really need to keep an eye on my uh, radiation levels. 
because they're already a little bit high, and they, these guys all have gamma guns. Oh god. Here comes the nuke grenade. Yep, those are big explosions. <laughs> they're saying kill the unbeliever. Nah, how about don't do that, though? Come on, grit. And I have, uh, I have recently upgraded Gunslinger from, uh, perk 3 to perk 4. So this is doing more damage, which is nice. Oh god. How about not being insane? Oh my god, the rads. Oh god, the rads! Kill them, kill them now, they'll kill me. This is crazy. This is real bad. Oh, you're in the- uh, You're behind the tree! Okay, good. Oh my god. Yeah! Right away again. Jeez. Ow, ow, ow. So, oh, some of you have real bullets. That's fine. You can shoot me with the bullets. My armor's good. But taking your rads is difficult. Oh, there you go. Hi, friend. And by friend, I mean foe. Gotcha. Some are below me. See, that's interesting. So this is Kingsport Lighthouse. This is actually one of the things that was on my list. This is on my list to check out. Huh. See, so there's a few things I've just kind of stumbled into before. And then I ended up never really fully checking out. I just walked past it and was like, you discovered this. But if you never really check it out, have you truly discovered it? The answer to that is no. Oh, you dropped your gun. Oh, that's unfortunate. Go reach down, peek. Oh, you can't pick it up without a head. I mean... You can, but it seems harder. Golly gee! Can you not hit me with a freaking nuke? Where are- they must be down there somewhere. Yep. Yeah. Child of Adam. Ah, I didn't think that- <laughs> Nuke a grenade! Is that right next to my face? This is dumb. <laughs> and yet I shoot it. Gosh, you know what? You don't get to have legs. Boom! Give me another one. Critical, 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 boom! Yeah, we're done with that. Oh, you can still... You can still walk? Curse you! I'm still taking all these friends. <laughs> Dear God! Now he's down, he's down, he's down. I have all of the rads. Holy crap. Radaway Stimpak. Well, at least I'm getting rid of some of these uh, Radaways I've held on to for a million years. Where are you at? There you are. Don't hide, it makes it harder. Just gotta build up my crit, and then I can guarantee a hit on you. <laughs> it might be a process, but I will get there. Or maybe I won't. Uh, hold on. I have a gun for this. I don't use it very often. Jesus! Henrietta! Come to my rescue! Hey, could you move? Because you're hiding! And that makes it harder to kill you. Woo! There we go. Alright. Up we go. Keep reloading. People are still throwing these stupid grenades at me. Yeah, I'm done with this. Come on, Grit. Boom! That didn't kill him. Well, that will. That was dramatic. Gracious, okay. That means that we've never actually been up this lighthouse either, so this is cool. We're gonna get to see all these things. Can you not? Woo! Eyeballs be gone. There's still a guy up there. And he knows where I am at. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I have- Oh, because the red- <laughs> The red way is actually pretty helpful here. Hey, butthole, guess what? Eh, 50-50 chance. That worked out well. Wow. So that was exciting. Um... Jeez. I was like, oh, this lighthouse! We've been here before! No, we haven't. No, we have not. I mean, technically we have, but... Not really. Okay, so now that everyone's dead, and that bullcrap is over, I can explore a little bit. Still seeing all these fun... Fun, interesting things. This far into the Let's Play. Completely new, unexplored locations. I love it. 
That's what I love about these games. So this guy's dead. Sorry, pal. Bone saw. Doesn't seem to be anything over here. We didn't see any legendaries. I'm not really sure what a legendary would look like for uh, Children of Adam, but... Alright, let's see here. The beacon. Oh, right here. We have been charged by our brothers and sisters at the crater to lead others to bask in the glow. We have brought in those strong with Adam's blessing to provide a beacon at the top of this tower. Their light shall draw the believers. The faithful should pray at the tower, then continue their pilgrimage to the crater. Praise be to Adam! Heretics. It would seem that the beacon has also drawn heretics, who must be shown the glory of Adam. Those who will not join us must be cleansed. Then we may use them to feed the blessed in the tower. All glory unto Adam! Then we may use them to feed the blessed in the tower. What? What does that mean? Feed the blessed. Huh. Blessed was capitalized? Were they, were they keeping the lighthouse going using radiation? And they're just referring to the radiation as blessed? I don't know, I'm going up here. If I start taking rads, that'll probably answer my question. Doesn't seem to be anything of interest up here yet, but that could change. Huh. Alternatively, there's nothing up here at all. The blessed... ...is a glowing one. Wow. Huh. That's creepy. That is far creepier than I thought it would be. And there's a mini nuke in there. So, this is dumb. Uh, <laughs> this is really dumb. Quick save. Um, can I survive the blast of a mini nuke? Can I close the door again quickly enough? So, I'm, I'm kind of coming up with a little fun thing. But I also don't want to die enough to redo all that, so that's what the quick save's for. I kind of wondered if I can open this door... ...and, like, throw a grenade in? Or something? Or maybe a mine. Maybe it, drop a mine, unlock the door, and run. That'll come after me. It'll blow up the mine, which is close enough proximity to blow up the... ...nuke, right? That makes sense. It may not work, but it makes sense. Bottle cat mine, that's big. Cryo mine? Don't have any normal. I get a plasma mine. Pulse mine. I've got all these mines I never use because I don't... <laughs> because I don't do mines. Um... Hmm. Yeah, let's do, uh, a cryo mine would at least freeze them, so if it doesn't work, I could still maybe make this work. Okay, here is what we're gonna do. This is really stupid. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a mine here. Why did... How do I... How do I put the mine down? Cryo mine. I have the mine selected. Okay, there we go. Oh god! <laughs> it did not... It did not set off that thing. At all. Fortunately, it's only level 22, so it's it's pretty tiny. Oh, it's down. Alright, well... <laughs> yeah, I was kind of hoping that they would set all that off. It did not do it like I wanted to. Well, that's okay. At least I didn't get myself killed. Hmm. I take rads just by being near you, huh? If I had a mini nuke launcher, I would just, I would just do this, but I, I would just shoot you from down there, but I can't. All right, let's. Uh, Calm down, you freak. Oh, now you're on my side. Attack. That's kind of rude, isn't it? You can't really do anything, can you? All right, you're done. What do you have? Subway tokens. Oh boy. So that was cool. That was, um, that was actually pretty neat. The way that that was. Uh, Handled, because I read that terminal entry and I'm like, blessed? What could the blessed be? I don't know. Turns out it's a monster. These little fun uh, piece of, pieces of lore are neat. I like that. Um, nothing else here. So that's what the tower was. Uh, there's also some stuff down here. The preachers, which I, I murdered. And there's a little boathouse. Don't know if there's anything of interest in here. Gas canister. There's a few little things here and there. Cigar box. What am I keep looking at? Used oil can? Oh, the toolbox. I don't need that. 
Lots of that. I'm good. I've used up enough rat away for one episode. I'm gonna wander away from that. And this all looks... Fine. <laughs> it looks fine. Didn't tell what that was. It's a tricycle. I thought it was a dog. I was like, what's this little dog sitting there for? Um, did I go upstairs in here? I feel like I didn't. Jesus, it scared me. I can't set off traps, but it still scared me. Okay. Nothing else up here. Some beds. I don't know what that was connected to. Is that the- is that a mine? It might be a mine. Yeah, that's it! Okay, well. It's a little hole here. <laughs> Couldn't do it, but also, there's really no need. I saw all the things. That was, uh, that was an adventure, man. I- I had no idea that we hadn't- I- I- I knew that we hadn't seen Crater House. But I had no idea that we missed out on that specific lighthouse also. Okay, so we got to see a little bit more of the map here than, um... I bargained for. Is there anything in this center area? No? No, there's nothing unmarked. Okay, um, well, we need to head back to, um... We need to head back to Sanctuary, but before we do that, I'm gonna head back to the Wicked Shipping to, uh, unlock that trailer. So hopefully the pharaohs have not respawned here. I don't think they have. So this is it. These wicked shipping trucks, if we see them from this point forward, we can unlock them because we have the key. That is super cool. I had no idea that was a thing. And we are, uh, pretty well rewarded, except for the fact that I became over-encumbered. I should definitely make my next stop, um, sanctuary and drop stuff off. Just throw... just throw this in here. Because I barely ever use mines anyway. That is neat. That is very, very cool. I'll, again, I'm gonna have to keep my eyes open. Pro they're probably all blue. This one's a little banged up, so I can't do... Or, can I do this one too? Is it the other side, or is that one open? Oh, okay, this one's already open. Neat! Very, very neat. Alright, let's go dump our stuff off. Hey man, wake up! I took care of those raiders for you. Suddenly, I'm awake! I would love to discuss this! Really? Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. Da -da 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 -da. Finally turned in that quest. There's some other stuff, um... ...that has shown up. It's like, help defend this! Help do this thing! And I'm like, eh, mm, mm, whatever. Uh, there's, um... There's a few little odds and ends things that you guys have, uh, asked me to check out. And, uh, I decided that I'm gonna end off today's episode by doing one of those odds and ends things. What? What- what was that? Cause it looked like... It looked like this... Synth Patroller was dead, but like... Teleported into this area as dead. Super confusing. Um, so the last can I get in here? I'm allowed I'm allowed in here, right? Bunker Hill is still okay. There was a fight that happened in here once. Best not to talk to the raiders. They can get rough. Is everyone cool in here? Y'all are cool? Everybody cool? If it ain't the general of the whole goddamned minute men, should I salute? Surely you can spare some caps at my little store? Whoa. Anything new in the store? Same old, same old. Take a look for yourself. Not now. You'll be back. I mean, I, I'm not trying to be... Too many miles on the road. At least the pay is terrible. Lucas. Best way to spend your caps is protecting your hide with my armor. That advice is free. Thanks. Not now. You keep traveling, and I'm sure we'll do business by and by. Also, I ain't earned experience... somehow. Old man Stockton. I run three caravans that travel throughout the Commonwealth. Yeah. Okay, bye. Uh, the reason... The reason that I, I came back here, there's so many people here that have, like, their own lives. Hey there. 
May again. Working on a slogan for this surgery. I'm thinking, the doctor is in, pain is out. Eh, that might be false advertising. Let's just talk shop. Not right now. Let me know if that changes. The reason I came back to uh, Bunker Hill is that one one of the, the little tidbits I was told said go to Bunker Hill and walk south. And it says, go left at the bridge, and then immediately left again, and there's a little abandoned house with some lore. And to be honest, I'm not sure if that meant before or after the bridge. Might be my fault for not writing that down. So I'm just look around here and see if there's... Uh, an abandoned house somewhere. This kind of looks like... It's open. It is open! This is it! So we're gonna end off with some really interesting lore. Not entirely sure what I'm gonna find, but Vats isn't locking... ...onto these ferals, but it does lock onto that feral. Let's end this off pretty quick. And Lucky's gonna continue to give us crits. Boom. Down. Sounded like there was another one. It's upstairs. It's gonna say it'll be down soon enough. No legs for you. Bad. You don't get legs. Double critical. Ow. Triple critical. Gotcha. And the rads are high. Now you made me use up. So rude. You made me use up all of my... All of my ape, uh... My, my crit meter. So I'm gonna build that back up a little bit. Thank you very much. Done. Okay. Now that the, uh, these guys are dead... We'll see what's around. It's fungus in the sink. Aww, fancy hairbrush. Uh, fungus in the sink, nothing in the refrigerator. Bread box, industrial size shortening. Well, that's interesting. Control subjects recording one of three. This could get weird. Entry three, recorded by research assistant Peters on February 26, 2077. Time, it's 12.35 hours. Subject's direct radiation exposure level increased to 2 sieverts per 24 hours. Intravenous fluid intake increased to 1 liter. Subject reports localized pain in frontal and parietal lobe, accompanied by severe nausea, with vomiting on average, 3 to 6 instances per 12 hours. Solid food no longer viable by oral intake. Other symptoms include general weakness in limbs, bleeding of gums, Severe abdominal cramps and diarrhea. Dark stool indicates possibility of intestinal bleeding. Shortness of breath also an issue. I will now describe changes in mood or thought process. I have never in my life felt as horrible as I do right now. The discomfort is almost too much to bear. I often contemplate termination of this trial, but I know I know it'll only be a few more days before I reach six sieverts. Then I can administer the serum. We'll get our contract renewed. The serum will go to the market and it's going to help people. It's really going to change the way we live. And me, I'll be... <coughs> fine. I'll be fine. Cyclical thoughts. No other... No other developments to report. Wow. So we've got someone who was working on a serum. They wanted to get the contract renewed, the serum could go to market, and they were their own test subject. Oh my god. Entry 6. R.A. Peters. It's March 1st. I've... I mean, the subject has reached saturation threshold safely. Taking measurement now... Confirm six sieverts. Rapid fluid loss due to fever. Huffed IV intake. All previous symptoms are still present. Tissue damage visible on arms, neck, and hands. Necrotic sloughing of the skin. 
Topical and ingested antibiotics applied to control infection. Now injecting first dose of serum sample 42BA7 into bloodstream. No immediate effects observed. Animal trials yielded results in less than... <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's awful. Also, you know that she's behind this door. Like, you just, you know. You know she's behind this door. Reload the gun. Oh my god. That's horrifying. That is so horrifying. But I really appreciate the tip about finding this location. Nice. Legendary bloated glowing one. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's probably not good. It's climbing up and over. Okay. Um, if I can get it stopped. It's climbing up right now. If I can if I can get the legs off, we'll be in much better shape than we were otherwise. It says 92, but I don't trust that, so I'm kind of trying to make sure that it gets its legs up and over. And then we're going to tear into this thing. Griticals every time. Blow the leg off as fast as possible. Because if this thing gets up and starts moving, it's gonna be... it's not gonna be good. I'm gonna build up to a next critical. There's the critical. Third critical. Leg is still attached. And we gotta hurry. Leg is detached. We're safe. Fourth critical. Legendary enemy has mutated back to full health. <sighs> Dear God. All right, let's wrap this up. What a sad, such a sad story. Also, I'm getting super lucky, holy crap. Like, just luck after luck after luck after luck. I just continue to refill my, uh, my crit meter. Wow, and we still don't have the end of this story. Assassin's Western Revolver. 50% more damage against humans. Cool. Wow. Yeah, so the thing I'm most interested in is, of course, this recording. Second dose of sample 42BA7 injected hours ago. No effect. No effect. I contacted the lab to terminate this trial, but I need to talk to her. Uh, uh, hey, Lom. Mm, what's that? Oh, my teeth. Oh, several teeth dislodged. Oh, feels like oh, necrotic tissue damage throughout oral cavity. Oh, serum is ineffective at toxic levels. Request to terminate trial was. Orders are to remain in quarantine for the duration of the experimental period. Uh, I understand. I'm going to die. That's obvious. It's right here. Our failure. If you would, Dr. Roberts, please deliver the following to my family. Mom, Dad, I love you. Yes. I volunteered for this. It sounds crazy, but I believed in it. Probably nothing left worth bearing. I just know I... Oh, no. That's a bit too sentimental. Uh, let me think about it. Wow. He... Dear God. I had no idea what I signed up for when I walked into this abandoned house, this unmarked location. But, good lord almighty, that was, uh, that was heavy stuff. Man. Man. It, it, what's so interesting is that her, the dates on that wasn't close to the bombs falling. I think that's, that's what's really intriguing, is that her first entry was in February 2077, and then in March. Like, 
she died months before the bombs fell. And she had locked herself in there and quarantined herself in there. Oh my god, don't even... Yeah, don't even try. Don't even try. That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, got one more thing that's quite important uh, for you to hear. And that is the fact that I'm going to... Possibly next episode. It may start next episode. It may be the one after that. I'm not sure, so I'm just warning you now. I'm going to be re pre-recording a ton of content. And there's a reason for that. I have not announced it anywhere that I remember. Um, but I'm announcing it here on Fallout because you guys need to know. I record these one at a time. I'm going to be gone for a, a while. Uh, I am leaving very early April, and Mal and I are taking a three-week trip because we are driving up to Boston for um, PAX. We're going to be at PAX East for ev all days, all days of the convention. There will be a meetup, and there will be more information about that soon. Uh, but then when we are done at PAX, we are actually taking an East Coast road trip. Several years ago, we took a... I guess we'll call it the cross-country road trip. We started on the west coast of the U.S., drove the length of the U.S., and got back to the east coast at home. This time around, uh, when we're done with PAX, we're going to be going all the way up to Maine. Mao has family up there we're going to be, be visiting. And then we're going to be zigzagging down through the New England states, um, stopping in uh, Philadelphia, spending quite a bit of time in D.C. Mao has never seen D.C., so we want to see all those museums since they're super cool. And uh, we're going to be gone for three weeks. And you might be saying, that's a long time. And I'm like, yes. Yes, it is. And I'm excited about it, but I'm also totally freaked out because I have a lot of work to do ahead of time. I want to make sure that you guys continue to have Fallout to watch. So um, that may start next episode. It may start the episode after. So I'll be still looking at the comments for this episode. But um, what I really want from you guys is, is stuff to do. Eventually, I will run out of things and I will go to Nuka World. But in the meantime, I'd really like to continue to take care of some stuff in the Commonwealth. Things like this abandoned house are super freaking cool. If you've got more of that, let me know. Now, I also had a request to look at the map. Like, really, really look at the map. Like, get a chance to see the map and see what's on it. So this is it. I'm going to show you... I'm going to show you the map and actually scroll through the map so you guys can get a chance to get a better sense of all of the different little things that we have seen. If there's something missing that you think that we should go check out, then we absolutely will. I know that I got plenty still left to do in the Glowing Sea. I got a huge laundry list of stuff that you guys have submitted, but if there's any, like, other little things that uh, you want to see, then feel free to let me know. Is there anything out here? No, there's nothing out here. Almost to the end end of the map. Gets a little, um... little... dense in the city area there. Bring it down here. Can probably get to the edge. There we go. So I just want to make sure that I could at least show off all that. There might be something I'm missing. I have no idea. And I know it's possible to explore quite a bit into this area for some reason to let you walk down there. Um, yeah! Still quite a bit to show off. So I'm not worried about it. Um... But, uh, yeah, I, I won't be back doing normal one-of-the-time recordings until the end of April. Things are nuts. Thanks for understanding. Um, I'm gonna do my best. And, uh, there will continue to be Fallout content. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time for more Steven Plays. Fallout 4.